Hi, I'm Mike Forrest. Welcome to my studio. If I had to associate my artwork with a contemporary painting style, it would be the Neo-Expressionist movement. I paint medium to large-scale works that use active brush strokes and bright colors to tell a story, and that story is autobiographical. I paint places and events that have made a lasting impression on me. By way of example, I was in Europe last March, traveling in Paris with students from the business school where I teach, along with my daughter. One of the sites that inspired me to paint was the courtyard of the Louvre. My research process starts at the scene where I do a quick pencil sketch of the subject and then color it in with loose watercolor, usually done in a mole skin. I then take I then take reference photos with my iPhone, which I will rely on when I get back to the studio to start painting in oil or acrylic. Here is the final product of a diptych that captures the Louvre on an overcast day. I typically paint on cradled panels, which I make myself, using lumberyard materials, a table saw, chop saw, pneumatic nail gun, table clamps, and a router. I paint realistic subjects in a gestural style, starting with a simple outline in black, blue, or burnt umber. These elapsed time clips show me painting a local monument, Texas A&M's Kyle Field. My process is to loosely dab onto the substrate small patches of color and build up some layers. When these discrete, almost random details combine into a resolved image, the painting is finished. An enduring subject for me is churches. I studied for a term at the Savannah College of Art and Design campus in Lacoste, France, where I painted the churches of Provence. This work culminated in a solo show at SCAD's Blue Gallery in Lacoste. Closer to home, I've painted numerous times the Mother House Chapel at the University of the Incarnate Word which looms over the entrance of the largest Catholic university in Texas and the fourth largest private university in the state. This chapel functions similarly to the historic village churches spread throughout Europe as a center of civic activity. Thousands of people drive by the Mother House Chapel daily because the church is situated at the busy intersection separating the city of San Antonio from the enclaved village of Alamo Heights where I live. This is a painting of the Mother House Chapel as it looked in the early 1900s. Enlightened communities preserved their historic buildings as memory sites. The Mother House Chapel was at one time the highest structure in San Antonio. Thus, it has geographical prominence in this Riverwalk city. Historically, the chapel grounds have been a sacred place for Native Americans, Mexican missionaries predating the Battle of the Alamo, early Texas settlers, and then the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word who built the chapel in 1907. Now we see the chapel through power lines and traffic lights obscured by large oak and pecan trees. This mature landscaping around the chapel is a testament to its long history. From an artist's perspective, the modern utilities and trees provide various frames through which to study the chapel, whose views change with every step past telephone poles, guy wires, thick trunks, and leafy overhangs which reveal and obscure different architectural elements depending on the viewer's vantage point. My paintings offer an interpretation of the different views I experience daily as I live and work in the shadow of this chapel. Thank you for visiting my studio.